I saw your sheep on my way here. Yes, she feeds on the wild grass in those unsold gardens. She will be home when she's had enough. They've gone back to the city? The daughter is back from America for the summer holidays. Why doesn't she come here? No young people like the countryside. Ask your daughters. Ask my son. Don't I look like a madam? <laughs> no. If you count the days, we are the ones actually living here. They spend so much money on things, but we enjoy their lives for them. Mr. and Mrs. Wu have gone back to the city too. It's just me and this little one again. <laughs> Shh, easy boy. He didn't steal the duck. You sound stupid. Only city people talk to animals like talking to babies. Well, this town is going to be a city any time now. Look at those skyscrapers across the lake. Well, those are elevator test towers, not real buildings. What? What do you mean? Well, they only build tall to test elevators, you know, to make sure new elevators don't crash after leaving the factory. But they look real. What a waste. Why didn't they build it for real and test elevators on the side? Oh, that would be more expensive to build. And no one wants an elevator crash in a real building. Mm. So basically, it's hollow inside. Yeah, that makes sense. People are here to escape the city. Why would they bring the city over? What the fuck did you tell Mrs. Lee? What could I possibly said? Scene three. Mr. Lee practices Tai Chi on the lawn. Zhao mows the lawn. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Please don't let me uh, interrupt your work. Uh, no, 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 you go ahead. I can finish later. Okay. <clears throat> Exercise is the key to vitality. People like me sitting in an office all week in the city. Our lives wither by day in the stillness. Our bodies are craving movement, craving space, craving rhythm. Excellent. We must exercise. I always tell my friends, let the energy flow from our bodies to the universe and grow back with greater force. How old are you, sir? 50. We are the same age. Really? Wow. Well, you look so young, sir. Well, I guess I must have had too much exercise. Maybe it's the sunlight. Might be. Actually, you don't have to stand there. Why don't you just go and get some water? Sit down for a rest. I'll let you know when I finish. OK. Zhao leaves. Mr. Lee watches him leave. Out of curiosity, he turns on the lawnmower and tries to mow the lawn by himself. <laughs> Damn it. Scene four. In the garden, woman next door and Chow sit by the vegetable plot and each eat a freshly picked big tomato. The dog is <laughs> hanging around on the lawn. You wouldn't believe it. How much? I asked several of them just to confirm the information. Uh, who did you ask? Wang Er's woman, the old grandma in the first house of their village and that jobless retard. Good for him. He's a jobless retard with a fortune now. So, how much? 5,000. 50,000! In total or per acre? Of course, per acre. Well, 
It was early when we sold our land. Money was worth more back then. Remember an ice lolly was only 80 cents, but no, now... No, not that big difference. Not five times more. <sighs> what I haven't told you is that some of them got even more by threatening the local government, saying they would protest to the central government. The developer and the local government freaked out and slipped an extra 20,000 to those just to make peace. Why did none of us think of that? How foolish we were. We didn't understand money. Our village was so much better. The land was flat and rich, right next to the lake. Their village couldn't even see the lake. The developer is planning to buy the villages further north. They will build a second villa community, a third one, a fourth one. I bet the villagers at the bottom of that list will be the richest. 50,000. 10,000 sounded like so much back then. My man and I farmed the whole year and could only reap 3,000 yuan. Six acres. 60,000 yuan. We thought we got lucky. I uh, sold the land my father to me, uh, gave to me for 10,000 an acre. Land I could, have, I could have passed on down to my son and my grandson. Well, your son hasn't found a woman willing to marry him. So, aren't you thinking too far ahead? Plus, he doesn't farm anyway. My daughters needed dowries, so I couldn't wait for another eight years. Let's not think about this anymore. You know what? You're right. The 80 cent ice lolly is five yuan today. It's the market. It's fate. This is my land. Not after you sold it. Well, they can buy it, steal it, sell it, replace the house on it. But this will always be my land. And that's your land. Tell me you didn't feel that way. And that is my lake where my mitten crab farm was. They've even changed the name. It's Moonlight Lake now. Yuandong Lake wasn't even good enough for them. It's still my lake. Your lake too. Your grandson was drowned in it. That makes it your lake. Oh, for God's sake. But this is the same. What's the difference? We're still here. It's too pink. She loves pink. She was 15. She's a young woman now. We need to redecorate the room. She's only here for two weeks. Look, if we had redecorated, she would probably be more willing to spend time with us here. I doubt it. I mean, she likes to party in the city. I want to have her new room ready for when she moves back. OK, OK. Or even better, let's move her to a larger bedroom. She would need more space, especially when she gets married. How about the one on the second floor facing the south? No, she wants privacy. She'd hate to live right next door to us. I don't want to seem like a nosy father-in-law. We can move to the room on the first floor. We won't be able to climb all those stairs anyway when we get old. It's perfect. You're right. We should convert the room next to our bedroom into a playroom so their babies can hang out with us. Great idea. And how about opening a door that leads directly into the garden? Where we can build a playground? Now add one of those colourful plastic slide sets. We could add a basketball stand too. Children grow fast. Ah, oh, but we don't know whether it's going to be a boy or a girl. Who cares? Maybe the first is a boy, then a girl next. Then a boy, then a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid we won't have enough rooms. We could build a new house in the garden. Imagine it. Why not? We have enough space. Our daughter can even hold an American-style party. Her friends will be like, hey, your parents are cool. <laughs> The house will be so crowded, full of noise and music all the time. But you like quietness. But I don't mind. I'll be sitting by the lake, teaching my grandchildren fishing. When will that happen? Soon. Soon. Sometimes I look forward to growing old. Mm. Fast forward to the days of your retirement. Mm and her return. Soon. Soon. It will all happen fast. Time flies before you even notice. <laughs>